Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here, and coming at you with my Great League team featuring a core that I've already used, but I'm not going to focus too much on the core. Uh, I'm going to focus more on Defense Deoxys here because Defense Deoxys, Defense Deoxys was one of the main Pokemon used for a long time. It had the bulk, uh, it was a counter user that, uh, it was a counter user, but it wasn't a fighter, it was a psychic, right? So it was a unique typing with the counter user. Psycho Boost still hurts with the first psychic move, even though it lowers your attack. Uh, and then Thunderbolt and Rock Slide, either one, are nice coverage for flyers. So it was such a good Pokemon for a long time. You know, you have Thunderbolt for a zoom roll in this matchup here. Um, you have Psycho Boost for fighters. You you out bulk and out sort of, I don't know if you out bulk, but you, you beat Metachamp because Metachamp really can only throw the ice punches, right? Psychic is resisted. So it was really strong Pokemon. And then everyone seemed to have, get access to Sableye and Trevenant. So De Defense Deoxys went away. But now what we have here is Noctowl everywhere. So Noctowl is, to a certain extent, limiting uh, Sableye and Trevenant. So they're not on as many teams anymore. So uh, put it in the lead. It is, again, you're weak to Dark, you're weak to Ghost, uh, I pair the back two as counters to Ghost if you do see a Trevenant because those and Sableye because those are most likely so Sableye for, can take can mirror match and take both of those and then Dunsparce again as a normal type and will resist all the Shadow Claws right so that's why I put those two together that, that was my same thought process for putting this core together when I used the Cresselia instead um, so that's a team. Uh, I won't go over the back line because again, I already went over. That's why they're paired together. Uh, that's why this sort of core works to a certain extent. You have, you always have, I always, I'm at the point where if you're going to run a team, I personally right now am building for at least two counters for Noct I, I, I Try if I can, two, hour, two answers for Noctowl, Lancer, and Metachamp, Galarian, Stunfisk, right? So Deoxys is a really, really good Pokemon because it kind of can deal with everything right glaring stuff is, is trickier because the counter is the only thing you can throw at that um you obviously have the thunderbolt for counter still neutral and then you have thunderbolt for noctowl metachamp did i say metachamp and all that because you beat him beat this here you throw the thunderbolt uh they can only throw well actually i think this one through psychic i mean which i think is actually a smarter move this one through psychic um Instead of just the Ice Punches, I think Psychic is just better on a per damage basis, even though it's resisted compared to a non-stab Ice Punch. But I'm going to win that there, and then here comes the Sableye to try and beat me, and this is why you have an answer for Sableye in the back here. Uh, so yeah, so Deoxys can beat Metachamp. Uh, it can Thunderbolt Noctowl. It can still hit neutral counters and Thunderbolts or Psycho Boost on Lantern. And you're decently bulky enough that it's going to take a few moves to take you out there. Uh... Again, you don't really have a charge me to throw a Glaring Stunfist, but the counters add up there. Counters add up on Bastiodon. Um, right? So it's a really, really strong Pokemon. I would say if you can like keep it away from the... I mean, even Darks. If it's a pure Dark, uh, like Umbreon or Scrafty or Obscure, well, those aren't pure Darks, but they, um, what I'm saying is not Sableye sort of thing. Uh, you can grab... You like, can do a ton of damage with the counters. So even though you're probably going to lose some of those matchups, like the Umbreon for sure, you're, you're going to lose that matchup, but you can still do a bunch of damage with the counters there, right? So it's really the ghost, and you if you cover your ghost weakness in the back with two Pokemon, you should be good. Uh, I always use it on the lead, because Psycho Boost is a really underrated move. A, a lot of people don't like using it, and they'll throw just like a Thunderbolt in a neutral situation, because uh, they... Well, as soon as you throw a uh, Psycho Boost, your attack is lower times two. But going counter Psycho Boost Bail is actually a pretty good strategy in a lot of situations just because uh, the Psycho Boost is a pretty, it's a stab move. It's a quick, only takes five counters to get there. And it does a lot of damage. And so let's see what I'm going to do here. I just make, honestly, I make counter and go double Psycho Boost right here. Let's see how I end up playing this. Or you go thunder, yeah. You don't want to lower your tech. I know they're going to shield one, and I can outpace here because ice punch is not going to take me out. And then psycho boost will easily take this out from this range here because this will be normal because it's half fighting, half psychic. So psycho boost with ease takes out Metachamp, right? So and again here you're just staying in and throwing the thunderbolts. And Sableye comes in, and there we go again. So yeah, it's a it's a. Again, it was such a good Pokemon for a long time. Everyone, not everyone, 
because it was kind of tricky to get back in the day, but a lot of people have it, but just aren't using it anymore or weren't using it because Sableye and Trevenant were everywhere and they were like Trevenant. Again, how, how quickly the meta shifts, Trevenant was on everyone's team. Like three, or three, it felt like three of every five teams had Trevenant. So that's kind of why Deoxys went away. But now I think it, I think it can come back. And then again, just Sableye and I, I, I mentioned this core, but if you have, if you didn't watch the video, Sableye I still think is super strong. It's the best answer for Trevenant. Um, it's a good safe swap still, even though you're gonna lose Noctowl matchup, you can kind of you do well against Galarian Stunfisk and Bastion to a certain extent. You can go two shielded there, so it's still got a bunch of play, um, and it's bulky, and then. Uh, core breaker in Dunsparce for the Lantern Noctowl core, right? Rock for for Noctowl and uh, Drill Run for the Lantern. I still don't love. I still don't love using. It. It's a core breaker. I get it. Um, I've even put out teams with a bomb of snow, so it's, it beats that. I just I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like using Dunsparce. Just preference. Like I I have preference with that with, with uh scrafty like i know scrafty so top rated uh, i feel like it's a bit bait depending with the power punches and and foul plays but it's one of those pokemon i just do not like using just gonna go for i won't take this out here but it'll do some okay chip damage trying to bail they because i needed to try and catch that but i'm gonna go down here i think i'm probably gonna go down here too yeah so yeah that is a team um and that is basically it. I think we probably have a few more. Oh, right. How do I play? Because I said I said I explain. I would explain. Uh, I did the pros and cons of the team, pros and cons of Pokemon, and how I would play different leads. Um, really, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think it's stay in with. I mean, bail on the obvious ones. Bail on ghosts like Frostlass, Sableye. Trevenant. Um, is there anything else I would really bail on? Even Umbreon's and stuff. Like Umbreon's tricky because you can't go into Sableye, right? So maybe I do a bunch of counters, take like one foul play, do a ton of counters, maybe Thunderbolt, and then bail into Dunsparce, maybe. Um, but yeah, everything else you're mostly staying in. Um, and then, yeah, it just kind of, in the neutral matchup, you just need to de depend, uh, decide whether you want to just stay in and throw Thunderbolts and lose the match or stay and throw Thunderbolts and Psycho Boost and then switch or throw Psycho Boost and lower your attack like right before you're going to die. So it just, that's the only thing you need to consider on the lead here. Uh, yeah, and if I'm seeing, honestly, if you're seeing Trevenant on the lead, you can go either or, in my opinion. I think Sableye is easier. But if you have a Trevin, you probably have an answer for Sableye, quite honestly. Because it's probably like, I mean, you have an answer for Noctowl for sure. So Sableye may not be a terrible switch in there, quite honestly. Because if you have if you have an answer for Noctowl, you probably have a bunch of like steals. And, and Sableye has a decent matchup against the steals. And then that's probably the okay safe swap, but like, I just hate like Swapper can wall you pretty quickly and... You'll get a couple drones off, but it still like hurts. And then Metacham obviously is is tough. Let's Metacham play here. Yeah, just stay in here. Thunderbolt a few times, um, and then you'll probably cycle boost your third one. Or yeah, depends on the shield. I think double cycle boost, double Thunderbolt is probably the right play. And then depends if they let this go or not. Yeah, I still think you need a second Thunderbolt, and it's not worth yet lowering your attack so i think the thunderbolt is probably the right he move here even though they're gonna hit me with the second psychic and that's why I like oh, i'm just gonna go double psycho boost that's interesting i could have gone thunderbolt and then psycho boost because i'm gonna outpace but psycho boost does take out and now i have a decision to make my attacks already lowered um and so i i bank the move i bank the energy because I'm like, the energy is useless here. I've already two times lowered my attack, so the counters are useless. 
Uh, so I come in here, and now I get baited, so then this matchup becomes much trickier. It's, it, if you shield an Earthquake in this matchup, it's quite an easy matchup for Sableye, because it only takes Shadow Claws plus two Foul Plays to take this out. The, the Shadow Claws really add up on Glaring Stunfisk. But once they bait you once, it's it's a little tougher. I do get one shield, and then out comes the Charizard. I'm going to grab one shield back here, and then go... Can I get out, or am I switch locked? I'm switch locked. They let it go. Okay. I'm gonna get another one here. So this either they're gonna take it out or they're gonna they're just sacrificing the Charizard here. And they're gonna go. I don't love this. I tried to catch. Still gonna do chip damage here. And I think it's tough. Do they try and farm here? So I think they may try and farm, and by this point I can just go psycho boost and force. Yeah, they're gonna have to force a shield here. And then just come done sparse and one earthquake's not gonna take me out. So Sable, I can just chill back there with the energy, and then this game's over. Yeah, kind of misplay there. Anyways, that's the team. Um, again, I think Deoxys has a lot of play in the Great League, so definitely worth using. Just cover your ghost and a little bit of dark weakness in the back. Uh, although I, de I definitely, no, I, I, I covered my ghost weakness in the back. I really didn't cover dark weakness in the back because counters still add up there. Uh, that is it. Uh, we'll keep pumping out these videos. Uh, question if you're still on this still here please let me know in the description about the quantity of videos because i obviously have a ton so these double doses i know yonkis does double doses and his channel's been growing like he's uh but no other people that think like i just don't want to fatigue because i i'm doing a bunch of these videos because i've played like seven eight teams on go battle weekend so i, ha I can do like two for the three days in a row here I, it probably won't be a normal thing, but uh, let me know if you think two videos is too much or or if, or if it's okay. So appreciate the likes, thumbs up, comments. Uh, like and thumbs up is the same thing. Comments and please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.